So you want to buy a Honda Jet. How do they come up with these names? Honda Jet is one of four jets in the VLJ category currently being produced. It started production in 2015, and since then it's been the second most popular in the segment. Cirrus Vision Jet leads the segment by a country mile, and the Cessna Citation M2 is a close third behind the old Honda Jet, and Phenom 100 is hanging on by its fingernails in fourth place. Honda's goal when designing this jet, first and foremost, was to make it look weird. This was accomplished with the over-the-wing engine design. Performance-wise, this plane is fast as balls. 420 knots is tremendous and makes the Honda Jet the fastest VLJ currently in production, although actual cruise speeds tend to be closer to 360, which saves a ton of fuel. 4,000 foot per minute climb rate is top notch and has a realistic range of about 1,000 miles. If you really pull the hammer back, you can go up to 1,400 miles. When you want to buy one, you can mosey on down to the Honda dealership and pick one up yourself. Or for the same price, you could buy 240 Civics, or just 200 Accords. But yeah, it's very expensive. According to the POH, if you want to fly 420 knots, you'll have to be between 30 and 35,000 feet and burn close to 1,100 pounds an hour. Long range cruise is best done in the low 40,000s. You'll travel at about 360 knots and burn less than 600 pounds. We'll average it to 800 pounds, which is 120 gallons, or about 600 bucks. Not only did Honda release a sweet jet as their very first production plane, they also built their own engine, the GE Honda HF120 with the help from General Electric. Still a baller move. It has a 5,000 hour TBO and no hot section. Not cheap though. When you add it all up, you see the numbers are surprisingly low, and here's why. When folks estimate the costs of larger planes, they include things which I usually don't. The biggest one is crew cost. Sometimes two pilots, plus benefits, plus relocation fees. You'll also see recurrency training, ground handling fees, subscriptions, management, and even catering. On this channel though, we just talk about buying a plane and flying it yourself. So no crew fees. You will need recurrency training, but that's really just more time in the plane. If you fly 200 hours a year, probably 5 or 10 of those will be just for training. Ground fees vary widely depending on where you fly, and are not airplane specific. There are hundreds of airports around where there are no fees. So if you want to fly into really popular, busy airports, there'll be fees for that. As for catering, there is a bathroom on board, so you can go for the Taco Bell. The conclusion is that as planes get larger, they get more expensive, but they also get more complex to own. If you just want to buy a Honda Jet and go fly? Awesome. Providing you're qualified to do so, this is basically what you're looking at. Just know that it only goes up from here. That's Honda Jet. Thanks for watching. See you in the next.